Hello guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. This is the third tutorial on this series of basic electronic components. In the previous video, we have learned about switches and LEDs. If you haven't watched the video, I will suggest you to go in the previous video and watch it. And in this video, I will talk about voltage regulator. How to use voltage regulator ICs to regulate voltage and get a required voltage as per we wish. For this experiment and theory, we will need a breadboard, multimeter, 9 volt battery, two ceramic capacitor of any picofarad range or nanofarad range, regulator ICs. I will be showing the experiment with regulator ICs 7805 and 7806. There are many other ICs to 7808 from 7809 to 7812 you can use any one to regulate ICs now I will tell you the basic concept of regulator we are considering this box as the IC it has three terminals you can see first second third this is first terminal this is second terminal this is third terminal okay this we will call as in common out how it works that we have to connect our 9 volt battery or whatever the supply is in the in and common part so let's connect a battery here that's the battery connected with the IC okay and if it is 9 volt and we are considering the IC as let's 7805 so if the input voltage is greater than 6.5 or 7 volt the output will be 5 volt so if we connect a probe here from a multimeter It is a voltmeter. It will show the reading as 5 volt. This is how it works. Any input voltage above 6.5 or 7 volt, the 7805 ISO will convert it to 5 volt and give it out in the third pin, in this pin. The upper metal part of the IC is actually a common pin. It is also acts, acts as a heat sink because the IC gets very hot by reducing the voltage from 9 volt to 5 volt. So you can use it as a common pin also, the upper metal part. Now, if we change the IC with 7806, the output will change to 6 volt. Okay, so that's how the voltage regulator works and what generally we do is to connect a capacitor between the out and common and between the in and common in this case we are using 22 picofarad okay so let me make this circuit in a breadboard and look how it works so the, the so the upper row of the breadboard we are considering it as a ground the lower row we are considering it as positive rail let me connect the battery first
now let's take the voltage now let's take the voltage across the battery terminal this multimeter has said in the range of 20 volt look the reading is showing 9.37 volt it is a 9 volt battery and it's pretty new so the voltage is showing 9.38 volt now let me connect the IC first of all we will connect the IC 7805 you can see that we have connected a red wire from the positive to this row and the ground black wire from the upper row from the next to the next column actually so we'll place the ic in the similar way the red input part will go to the first pin and the ground black wire will connect it will be connected to the middle pin so that's it we have connected we'll connect the capacitor now Connect the capacitor between input and ground. Disconnect it. Now connect the capacitor between ground and out. Now the reading of voltage between this terminal 2 and 3 should be 5 volt let's check it out look the output volt is is 5.1 volt you can also use the heat sink as a ground 5.1 volt is the output simply by changing the IC we can get 6 volt look let me take out the 7805 and in that place we'll put 7806 now check the voltage again now the voltage reading is showing 6.14 it's approximately 6 volt now the reading is showing 6.1 volt that is approximately 6 volt so the 7806 is converting the 9 volt to 6 volt so like this 7808 will convert the input voltage to 8 volt but in that case 9 volt would not be sufficient you have to give the input as 10 volt or above to get the 8 volt output like that to get the 12 volt output from 7812 we have to give the input voltage as maybe 14 or 14.5 volt to 15 volt like this and now the opposite case happens if you connect seven nine series of ICs then where what you will get that if you give the input as minus nine volt you will get the output as minus five volt for seven eight zero seven nine zero five sorry for seven nine zero six you will get the output as minus six volt so that's how the voltage regulator works and that's how you can use it to make your own power source there is also one kind of voltage regulator that can be adjusted like this 7806 will give the output voltage 6 volt whatever may be the input you can change it but in that case i think the number will be lm317 that ic can change the output voltage by changing some ratio of input resistance and output resistance you can change the voltage output of that ic that is also a voltage regulator IC. This is a stable or st static voltage regulator IC that is dynamic. You can change the output voltage. That's the difference. So that's it in this tutorial. We'll meet you in the next tutorial. Till then, bye. Thank you.